You know, this is an award that is the highest you can get, at least when it comes to the military. And now two Oklahoma Medal of Honor recipients are at the nation's capital with a request. And time is of the essence. News 9's Alex Cameron has their story. Sir, Earl Plumley, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Well, how are you doing, sir? Master Sergeant Earl Plumley from Beckham County and retired Sergeant First Class Melvin Morris of Okmulgee were on the Hill Tuesday where they got warm welcomes from Oklahoma senators. It means a lot when they respect uh, the sacrifices that the Mel Honor recipients have uh, made. In 1969, Morris displayed incredible bravery in Vietnam, crossing enemy lines to retrieve a fallen comrade and single-handedly destroying an enemy force. He was awarded the Medal of Honor in 2014, 45 years later. It didn't matter. I was a Green Beret, and I believed in what I was doing for my country. Plumley is and was also a Green Beret who completely disregarded his own safety in 2013 in Afghanistan to thwart an attack on his post by 10 suicide bombers. Getting the Medal of Honor two years ago, he says, was humbling. I look at the, the medal as an award for, for everybody that trained me, everybody that mentored me. And then everybody that served with me, I think, uh, to say that I earned the medal uh, alone would be pretty disingenuous. A new Medal of Honor museum is currently under construction in Arlington, Texas. But what those two are asking the congressional delegation to help with is speeding up construction of a Medal of Honor monument on the National Mall. It needs to be built. It has to be built. Morris is now 81. Plumley says time is of the essence. They'd like to see that thing finished before they're gone, and I, th I think we, we owe that to them. Site selection is the next big step for the Medal of Honor monument. Plumley says the hope is to build it close to the Lincoln Memorial since it was Lincoln who created the ward and who had some pretty powerful things to say about military service and how to honor it. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.